so we're back on the jetty. We're here with our friends Tim and Carlos from Beach Bomber Fishing. And uh, it's, it's an honor to be out here with these guys because they know what they're doing. I mean, if you guys follow either of them, you'll know they catch a lot of fish. This is a really great opportunity for me to take some time and actually learn how the fishing goes in Texas. And Carlos was nice enough to give me one of his rigs. He's calling it the Beach Bomber Rig. It's basically a Carolina rig tied with really heavy duty line. Uh, this is 400 pound line. And uh, I mean, these are nice big hooks, really nice hardware on here. And we're gonna be going after whatever bites a huge rig like this. That could be a big bull red, that could be sharks, that could be a big stingray, it could be a lot of different things. And when you're throwing big baits out there, expect big pulls. It's gonna be a good episode. Keep watching, guys. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's in general, like the biggest fish ever. Oh my God. Hey, 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 hey! Holy crap! These are the ones that he makes. I mean, I make those, so like just, just to have them out here, but like that there with the shock meter, you will never lose a fish. Yeah, let's, let's put this guy on. <laughs> I'm gonna do about like, I usually do like 10 feet. So I'm gonna do like 10 turns. Okay. Mullet, some that are shrimp. Get yeah. the whole mullet. I am gonna take the, uh, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind at all. I got, I got some extra so we can all use it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the tail off and cast this whole thing out. Oh, good idea. Hope you got a big shark with that, or like uh, a big bull red or something. Uh, hopefully. Not, that's, that's not looking too good right now. We'll well, my bet's happens. on you, man. My bet's on you. I've seen your pictures. You get, a, you get some big ones. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> So when I hook it on there, it's because so if I don't if I don't have it hooked on the onto the weight, what happens is when the mullet hits the water, it'll fall off. So when you hook it on the weight, the weight impacts the the water, so like that doesn't fly off, it doesn't break off any lands. All right, so these are the rigs that Carlos from Beach Bomber ties, and he uses these for big reds, shark, whatever the heck bites. And honestly, I trust that guy more than anyone on the jetty right now. So I'm gonna use this. It's just stronger than the rig that I tie, the the, uh, the sure catch one. This is more uh, dedicated for big fish, whereas the other one, the one that I tie, is dedicated for anything that wants to bite it. What is this made of right here? 400 pound uh, diamond line. 400 pound diamond line, dude. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, like I sit down and watch TV and make them. Dude, these are nice. <laughs> I gotta learn how to tie these. You yeah, have you have a video on how to make them? No, but I should make one. You should do that. Yeah, just reverse engineer it. What do you call this rig? The Beach Bomber rig? It's called the Beach Bomber rig. I'm going to use another yellow mouth. Cut the head off. And now check out this beefy, beefy rig right here. This is the beef rig right here that uh, Beach Bomber makes himself. He gifted me a few of these and uh, I'm gonna try using these this rig today and see what I can catch. Maybe a big red drum, maybe a shark. But look at this, that's a big hook right here. Put it the head on. There we go, just like that. So this rig looks interesting because this fish finder can actually slide back and forth. So if anything does pull this, it's a little less suspicious, right? 
they won't feel that tension. But also, the, this is 400 pound line right here. So if you hit anything, any kind of big shark, you don't have to worry too much because this thing is really going to be uh, strong. I mean, look at this huge hook on here. It's offset a little bit so you can easily hook it. And this is attached to our shock leader right here. This shock leader is going to prevent rocks from cutting us off. So when you have your setup like this, you're set up to catch big fish. Let's get them. <laughs> now I put it on my cart. I'm going to set the drag to really loose. So if anything pulls it, I'm not going to lose my rod. It's going to make that sound, right? Then I'm going to run over here, tighten the drag. Then I can really fight it. For this rod right here, I'm actually using my own homemade rigs right here. These are called the catch-all rig, right? And they're really easy to use. I show you guys exactly how to use it on the back of it. But this is pretty good for, like, across the board, many kinds of species, all different sizes. And I like to use baits like this right here. These are our salted baits, which are salt preserved. It's a special kind of mixture of salt and other stuff that keep it preserved. This is the pink shrimp. These are our salty clams. Here are our, our neon orange shrimp. We've got regular shrimp. We've got squid right here. All this is gonna work really well for like weak fish, pinfish, pompano, whiting, drum. You never know. Right here like this, nice and secure. And I can put a piece of fresh shrimp on there too if I wanted to. Why don't we do that? But the thing with the fresh shrimp is it comes off so easily. I'm just gonna tip it like that. If it comes off, it comes off. At least I have more bait, you know? So now I've got my big rod waiting here, and now I've got my high-low rig waiting to run. And now we wait. about some fish you've caught on this. So this rig here, it's 400 pound of mono. And the reason I use 400 pounds, I don't know, it seems like overkill, but like when these fish are falling in the rocks in here, if you're using anything like 100 pounds, you can break off. And not only is it bad for you, but if you get the fish stuck in the rocks, it'll die. You don't want that to happen. So with this here, this will prevent your fish from, you know, falling into the rocks. And also you can grip it when you're at the bottom also. So, I mean, I've caught sharks on this. I think the biggest I've caught on a similar rig was like a 6'2", uh, Black tip shark. Yeah, six, most, two? six two. Six two. That's uh, me. That's my size. Yeah, it was your and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's important to have the right gear, especially the right terminal tackle. This here's gonna make, help you be more successful when you're fishing. Yeah, yeah. Not not only to catch more, but it's also safer for the fish too, so you don't you don't end up leaving it stuck on, exactly. under, under yeah, the water. Perfect. Yeah, yeah exactly. See, it's important for the fish. You got the right the right leader. When you're fishing for such huge fish, like such old fish, it's really important to to think about. The, the sustainability of yeah. the, the fishery uh, and, and treating your fish correctly is is very important for the for the future of the ge more generations of redfish more exactly. generations of bigger fish exactly so although I know some people really want to keep the fish or they really do, they're just really excited it's important to always remember to take care of the fish first worst case scenario if you don't know what to do, just release it right away for me when I caught my big red in, in North Carolina I made sure to, to swim it back to life first before I let it go little things like that can really help the fishery if we're gonna encourage you guys to try and fish for bigger fish we need also need to remind you to take care of the fish that you're catching as well you know interesting story actually in regards to like releasing fish up until the 1980s in Texas the bull reds were pretty much not extinct but they were pretty decimated because people were always taking bull reds home you didn't have enough females to reproduce so then uh, that's when the, 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 uh, the limits and the size limits came into place in Texas because there was hardly any bull, re any bull reds left. And the limits saved it. It exactly. saved the whole fishery. And that's, that's what makes us different from other countries is America's fishery is amazing because we have rules and we have people to enforce those rules. In other countries, there's not as much regulation. So people take anything they, they want. And there's a lot less fish there. Yeah, I haven't fished over there, but... Oh, is That's what we hear from our subscribers wow. from around the world. They say that there's no fish here. There's no regulations. 
So some people hate the regulations here, but I think yeah. that, you know, sometimes they're a pain, but they're ultimately here for a good reason. Yeah, they are. Conservation, that's what matters. Yep. So. I don't know, I feel like growing up, fish, watching fishing shows one kind of thing. Maybe a ray? Ray? You did get a fish though. I did get a fish. see anything touch it so the thing with this rig is it might take a second to actually catch anything but when you catch something it's gonna be something big so we're waiting around hopefully we get something big but you never know and honestly if I get something big I'm gonna let you reel it in Aaron <laughs> because everyone likes watching you fight the fish <laughs> everyone likes watching you smile and giggle and Woo! stop that's me that's not nice no, but it's fun. It's entertaining to watch. So. That's always the fun part for me is putting putting someone who's never caught such a big fish on a big fish. Okay. Can, can anyone else relate? Comment below. I think the best way to catch one is to use one of these. We're going to use the head. There we go. There we go, we cast it out, let it sink to the bottom, and then we're gonna set the drag so that if anything pulls it, we'll hear it, right? It is. 
saw you. on the rig. It's a beach bomber rig. I'm sweating. <laughs> <You're> sweating. <laughs> you did a good job fighting it. You, you let Hopefully it fight when it needed to fight. You didn't force it in too much. I learned from the best. Okay, so now what do you explain what you're doing? Alright, so I'm gonna hey if the hole's clogged, kind of tilt it, tilt it into him. Once no, you pop in, tilt clogged. it in and that way it'll let the air back out. Still clogged. Okay, I, so when I was holding it I could feel it fish. kind of swallowing air in Oh, that's what it. So it's, it's too much air in here. We're too trying much to air, release right. the air. Because if you don't release the air, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna float. Yeah. It's gonna float. There we go. So, yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh my it's goodness! You got good luck today. Out, huh? That's some good luck. Some that is friends. good luck. <laughs> All of our stars lining up. Yes. Wow. Look at that difference. Oop. That's way over. Yeah, let's let it go. Yeah. Wait, that's it. Yeah. Wait, this is the scale? Wait, this is the scale? That's the scale. I'm keeping this. <laughs> took a crew to land that right oh, like yes. it took a couple people to really try and wrestle that in you were trying to wrestle that in on the <laughs> rod at the same time yeah but this rig was really cool because I mean I just casted that out like maybe 10 minutes ago there's a lot of big sharks here and uh, the fact that I know that I can still catch a big red drum using a leader like this 400 pound line that's really awesome that's not something that really happens much in in Florida because the water is so clear they don't want to see it like this they want to see a clear line. They actually don't want to see it at all. Since the water in Texas is a little dirtier, um, it's okay to use leader lines like this. So if you're fishing in Texas, just remember that. Aaron, let's hear it. <laughs> Tell us how to feel. It was wild. <laughs> that was the biggest um, thing you ever caught, right? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I think so, yeah. Just in general, like the biggest fish ever. <laughs> oh my God. You look so cute when you were catching it too. Oh my goodness. Um, it was, I could feel it. Boom, 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 you know, like trying to, um, yeah. yeah, just go down or like left and right. And I knew because I have a great teacher, let it run, crank it down, you know, pull it up. Yeah. I think it was all right. And then when the, thank you. <laughs> and then when the waves were coming up over the rocks and everyone was trying to land it, I was really trying to like watch when was a good opportunity to kind of like pull it up with the waves. So I think that was a good way everyone did. Yeah, good job. Thank you. Thanks for letting me reel it in. No, I didn't. I did it. It was your fish. I just I set the hook for you. That's all. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that was bad. I'm glad that was your PB. No, oh, thank you so much. That was awesome. You yeah, you come to Texas and you land your PB. Wow. Both of us. Both of you. Oh, that was your PB too? Yeah. Wow. Man, that, yeah, I feel lucky. I feel get lucky. To, <laughs> get the fish with you on and then y'all land your PBs at the jetty. Wow. <laughs> Just us. 
Yep. But that's okay. That was a really, really awesome time. That I mean, was fun. That was your personal best one, right? You've yeah. never caught a fish that big. Never ever. I liked watching you catch that. You were really, you were really cute <laughs> catching that. I'm gonna hey. be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Making me blush. That was crazy for me. That was literally the biggest fish I've ever caught. Were you expecting it to be a red drum? No, because usually when it's something that heavy, it's like a big skate or like a shark. Yeah. You know, like I feel like more likely. So I was really. His rig worked really well. Yes, it did. Yeah. And thank you to Carlos for giving us one of those and helping me that was you know that was really, really helped me yeah, like yeah. jump down there and get the he fish. helped us land the fish he helped us do a lot of stuff yeah. and like i really appreciate that help so if you, yeah. got, if you guys haven't seen his channel you should check it out definitely it's, uh, beach bomber beach bomber fishing beach bomber fishing yeah, he's got about eighty thousand subscribers and the people in texas love watching his stuff yep. so if you're from texas or you want to learn how to catch some of these big fish I suggest you follow uh, Beach Bomber Fishing. Yep. Um, he and Alice have got it going. But our on. plan worked. Ah. We used our we used our catch all rig, right? Yep. We caught some we caught some bait using that. Mm -hmm. We put that bait fish on the big hook that he gave us, and man, that was wow, a fight, wow, wasn't wow. it? Wow, that was so crazy. <laughs> uh, One you, for the books. If you want to try some of our salted baits, if you want to try some of our rigs, I suggest you get our Supreme Bundle. Is that called? Yes, sir. The Supreme Bundle, which comes with. 10 fishing rigs and all of our bait and a waterproof box it worked today like it really really did the trick yeah no it one really was catching did. stuff on other stuff mm -hmm. i mean fish bites is not working at all right and tim was out here the whole time you know he usually he catches a lot of fish on his instagram he's like a really good angler but you know today it, it was our day yeah today was our day yeah and that's worth it right right there like i know second day fishing in texas another big drum Woo! Crazy. What more can I ask for? Everything bigger in Texas. <laughs> uh, here at Hey Skipper, we want to help you guys get on fish and we want to make it easy for you guys to learn how to do so. If you want to learn, just visit our website, heyskipperfishing.com. We have so, so much stuff on there, uh, just all meant for you to learn yep. in an easy way. Yeah. We do videos like this every Thursday. Every Thursday. Um, so hit that notification bell if you like our channel. Subscribe if you like our channel. Uh, we're going to be here for a while. Um, Thank you for watching. Have peace. a good day.